Research in space is currently accelerating studies like drug development and delivery, disease modeling, crop science, and quantum satellites, just to name a few. It's been hypothesized that the next cancer-fighting innovation will have its beginnings in space, with pharmaceutical companies like Merck and Novartis already researching new drugs on the International Space Station. So what's stopping you from launching your research? My name is Ferris Ibrahim, and I'm a co-founder of Castle Point Rocketry. Our goal is to make this frontier of research accessible to small businesses and universities. The space launch services market was estimated to be an $8.8 .8 billion industry back in 2017. And according to Berkshire Hathaway, it's projected to become a $27.8 billion industry by 2025. Despite the advancements in this field by startup companies such as Vector Launch and Rocket Labs, there is still a lack of availability and affordability that prohibits small businesses and universities from accessing the benefits of space. That's where we come in. Our multidisciplinary team over the past year has leveraged new technologies such as metal 3D printing and linerless composite pressure vessels to construct a proof of concept reusable rocket capable of carrying a four kilogram payload to an altitude of 100 kilometers on a suborbital trajectory. Our rocket will be able to carry 12 nano satellites, which are the best way to send your research into space on a budget. One of these satellites could be carrying an experiment in bioprinting from a research team here at Stevens. And while the current market price to launch one of these satellites is $40,000, we plan to make that $20,000. Over the life of our rocket, it will generate a net profit of over a million dollars. Now, our rocket isn't just an idea. We're currently constructing it complete with data acquisition and recovery. We didn't just design a new type of rocket engine. No, we built one. We've raised $500,000 in support to do so. And we plan to launch from New Mexico this June. For comparison, Vector Launch had to raise a $75 million round to, to develop their Electron rocket. We've gone with the support of 12 major corporate sponsors, including Northrop Grumman, Aerojet Rocketdyne, and Balcor, who all see the value in our mission and our designs. We're here to ask for $2 million in seed funding in exchange for a 30% equity stake. This will allow us to officially launch our company, develop the necessary building and testing infrastructure, and refine our engine for full-scale production. These steps are necessary for developing our commercially viable fleet. With your help, we can kickstart the next generation of innovation in space. Thank you. I'd like to welcome up the rest of my team and answer any of your questions. All right, so um, congratulations. It sounds like you're gonna launch in New Mexico. Do you already have all the government approvals to do that? And um, how did that process go? Are you, know, are you still missing anything? What are other things that could lead to delay of that launch? That's a great question. So most of the approvals go down to the launch site. The only thing we have to do is file with the FAA about 70 days prior to launch. So that's a simple waiver and we're already in the process of filling it out. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on the theme of business, the, the competition in the reusable rocket industry? And also, what are your thoughts on how do you think about the infrastructure beyond just the rocket design that's needed to realize these savings? So the low Earth orbit uh, launch industry is kind of just budding. There are some competitors that are just starting to get their feet wet in the field, but there's no primary major competitor that started to step forward except for like rocket labs. So the, um, the field is pretty wide open for exploration. Um, in addition to testing infrastructure, uh, currently we're at Stevens, as is pretty apparent, so we're going to need to find um, both a place that we can build some testing rigs so that we can really refine our engine as we scale up to larger production. And as far as the payload, is the payload all research projects or is it a mix of research projects and other potential commercial applications? So we've designed our proof of concept to carry three CubeSats, and they can be for whatever, commercial or research, we, our hope is for research. And then the same is true with our full scale. We, we intend to cater our sales towards universities, small businesses, and researchers. Nicely done, thank you very much.